Hey there, nature enthusiast. So, you've been having some unexpected garden visitors, eh? Those cheeky little gophers messing up your carefully planned backyard? No need to fret, we've got your back. Today, we're going to discuss how to get rid of gophers in your garden. Yes, it's possible and yes, you can do it. Excited? Let's dig in. But first, what are the things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into it. Get rid of it! First, let's know our enemy a bit better. Gophers are small rodents known for their tumbling prowess. Think of them like little miners going through the earth in your garden. They love feasting on roots and tubers, making your beautiful garden their all-you-can-eat buffet. Research by Professor G. Whitmer from the United States Department of Agriculture conducted back in 2007 provided some profound insights into the life and habits of gophers. A common misconception is that gophers love all plants. Wrong. They've got their preferences. A study led by Dr. Roger Baldwin from the University of California, Davis in 2014, listed the gophers' preferred plants. Check your garden. Are you unknowingly hosting their favorite menu? Here are their top eight favorites according to A to Z animals, needle and thread grass, scouring rush, prairie june grass, prickly pear cactus, Kentucky bluegrass, perennial ragweed, sweet clover, fragile prickly pear. All right, time for action. Let's start with an eco-friendly method. Did you know owls are gophers' natural predators? Yep, you heard right. Installing owl boxes can encourage these nocturnal birds to nest in your garden, naturally controlling the gopher population. It's like having your own security guard who works the night shift. Plan B. We've got gopher repellents. There are a bunch available on the market, most of which contain castor oil. These guys hate the stuff. It was found in a 2012 study by the University of Nebraska that castor oil disrupts the gopher's feeding and burrowing habits. Lastly, we have gopher traps. There's a technique to setting these up, so listen closely. You gotta find an active gopher mound first. Then dig a hole that aligns with the tunnel, insert the trap, and cover it with a piece of wood or plastic to keep the light out. Simple, right? This method's got some good success rates according to a study by New Mexico State University conducted in 2016. That's it, folks. Three tried and tested strategies on how to get rid of gophers. Remember, it's not an overnight solution. Patience is key here. So, what do you think? Ready to reclaim your garden from these pesky critters? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video. Help a friend in their fight against gophers. Until next time, happy gardening.